ethics of Budo or the martial ethics of Bojitsu show favor upon our humble efforts to share these brief moments, frame by frame, of one devotee of the martial arts. Sensei Tadashi Yamashita has spent the major part of his life immersed in the various ancient forms of Bojitsu, which is the term used to denote the art of combat or martial skills. But to simply have the ability to demonstrate Bojitsu while foregoing the Budo or the martial ethics, one would fall short of the true intent of the traditional Budo warrior. The code of conduct known as Bushido was the Budo or creed and ultimately the way of the warrior. Sensei Yamashita received his formal Bojitsu training as a young boy in his homeland of Okinawa. It was in Okinawa that modern-day karate, bare hand or empty hand techniques evolved, and the skills of kobudu, weapons, which were ordinary harmless tools used as weapons of self-defense, were refined, perfected, and many of these traditional techniques were passed on from father to eldest son or from master to worthy disciple. As Yamashita's master, Nagazato, set him off on his lifelong journey, he might have admonished him in the words of Mencius. When heaven is about to confer an important office upon a man, he first embitters his heart in its purpose. It causes him to exert his bones and sinews. It makes his body suffer hunger it inflicts upon him want and poverty. It confounds his undertakings. In this way, it stimulates his will, steals his nature, and thus makes him capable of accomplishing what he would otherwise be incapable of accomplishing. Know thy enemy and know yourself, my friend. In a hundred battles, you will never be in peril. <laughs> 